Hi, my name is Barrett and today I'm going to explain how encounter templates work and how a user can create their own templates. Encounter templates are a great way to reduce text writing or dictation. You can define the variables and sentences you want to have beforehand and choose easily between them during an encounter. This works great on both desktop and iPad. Here's how you get it set up. Go to Settings, Encounters, and add a new template. We give the template a name and set the default appointment types for which the template should be used. So if we start an encounter from the schedule, the correct text template is already applied without us needing to do anything. The template editor has the same sections as your encounters. Start by entering your text, then insert some helpful variables. The variables could be anything from patient name, age, gender, current date, and many more. Those variables will automatically get replaced with your patient information. You can also add an instant variable to predefine words or sentences you choose from during the encounter. Let's start with a multiple select variable. Enter the different attributes of your variable and separate them with a line break. Please note to always save your encounter templates in between edits. This is the view inside an encounter note. The input health system will automatically add a comma or and if applicable. The editor also provides styling functionalities like turning your text bold, for instance. Let's add another variable. This time a single select. We separate our variables again with a line break. If we change to the view inside an encounter, this is how it will look. As you can see, we could even add a complete sentence. If we do not select the variable and leave it red or select none, the content of the variable will simply not be displayed on the console letter. The area would simply be left blank. For the last part, I'm going to show you how we can store variables from an encounter in our patient data section. This step is optional and only useful in some cases. I will demonstrate using food allergies as an example. From the multi-select, I'll choose the category allergies. Now I can enter my possible variables and then switch to the encounter view. After selecting my allergies and saving the encounter, I can now find the information in my patient data section. The patient data section holds constant information, independent from the individual encounters. This is everything that you need to know about encounter templates. I hope this was helpful. We have a text version of this tutorial in our support guide found at www.inputhealth.com slash support. Thank you.